Howdy, everybody. It's Sunday. That means squeaky clean adult films. I am Jason from Barefoot. Today we're going to 1984 for a picture about classical music. It's called Classical Romance. <laughs> That's right, 1984, another Richard Mailer, another Vinegar Syndrome. At the end of this here production, we have an announcement from Vinegar Syndrome, Northland Casting, and Barefoot and Independent. Three powerhouses, Twitter giveaway. Uh, 1984, this was the end of Richard Mailer's 35 millimeter career. We're talking 84, so we're about switching to video. He shot two films in 84, which we will both be covering. Where's my Invisible Maniac? No, not that. A different Vinegar Syndrome. He shot two films in 84, Physical Attraction and Classical Romance. 35 millimeter, it looks so good. Vinegar Syndrome. I said I wasn't gonna do a Vinegar Syndrome until I got my Vinegar Syndrome tattoo. My birthday was just two days ago. I'm going to get a Vinegar Syndrome tattoo this week. This is my first Richard Mailer since I got a Richard Mailer tattoo. For you industry folks, you know that Richard Mailer's nickname was Mr. Mustard, and I got Mr. Mustard. I almost thought, oh, that's dumb to tell you an almost, but I almost thought Richard Mailer was gonna be in this one, but I confused the two on that double pack because he is acting in classical romance. Or wait, no, no, strike that, reverse it. Strike that, reverse it. He's in the next one. Now I'm confused, yes, I'm correct. However, my favorite actor in this movie is the bartender. Richard Mailer has played a bartender three times. So that's why I was confused. It's My Body, Too Young to Care, and The Huntress. Those are three pictures where Richard Mailer is the bartender. Check out the bartender in this one. Eric, who's Paul Thomas, he's dating Monica, who is Desiree Lane. Then Tommy comes into the fold, played by David Cannon. There, they meet Laura and Helen. Laura and Helen. Jacqueline Lorenus and Valerie Love. And then who knows? A bunch of stuff happens. Relationship, double crosses. Let's talk about the actors at the end. I don't want to give anything away. This is an awesome film. It's long, 85 minute film. What did we get ours down to? 23. The PG rated version is 23 minutes long. You're in for a long one today. We got this one down to PG because there's a lot of soft swears. Uh, let's watch this. Let's talk about the actors when we're done. Let's talk about the music. Shelton John. That's Elton John's brother. He did the music for this. Crazy, huh? Sorry that I'm a little annoying today. That happens with uh, Vinegar Syndrome and Richard Mailer combined. Two of my favorite things. It amps up the dumbness. Happy Easter. Let's watch classical romance. Oh, damn it, Eric. Can't you read? Look, it's C, 
B, B flat, D. You're not stretching your fingers. <sighs> My fingers are cramping up on me, Paul. Of course they're going to cramp up on you if you don't practice. What do you want me to do? I want you to care about your music. That's what I want you to do. I want you, please, Eric, listen. You're good. You're damn good. You've got the talent, but you don't work at it. What do you want, Eric? Tell me something. Just what in the hell do you want? Oh, uh, I, I got to go to work. I'll see you later. Do it. Go to work. Just get the hell out of my hair for a while. Hey, that's my man. Thanks. Can you wait? Uh, you like better to try. Hang on for two o'clock. Here's a better Sounds like a plan. It's not going to be a good pin up there. A good crush. My guy. Let me see what good he is. Hey, what a guy. Hey, what a Look guy. Look who just showed up. I'm going to tell him, Mike. Here's a clean glass this time, Schmucko. Look who's here. On time for a change? Yeah. What 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 kind of uh, ice did you want today? Any ice you got. Okay. Tell me, how you doing? Hey, pretty good, Eric. What's happening? Pretty good. It's making us Good what a series. Saving lives today? Yeah, it was pretty slow out there, man. Oh, there was this one old fat old broad, though. She got caught in a riptide. Sucked her right on out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? You keep her, you throw her back. Oh, I let her go, man. I was eating lunch. <laughs> hey, Eric, what the hell happened to you today, man? You missed the volleyball tournament. I was just taking care of business. Porsche out in my parking lot. Sure look good in it. Why don't I buy a little drink and we discuss where we like to go? I think I'm gonna be sick. Please don't. Come on, give it a try. Just one little drink won't hurt you. Hello, ladies. These are for you. Thank you. May I sit down? Sure. I love your style. Come on, darling. I Four shots that you just true. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. Whoops. Now we're ready.
Hi, honey. Like the trains in Italy. Always on time. Morning, I got up. She was gone. She didn't leave a name. She didn't leave a number, nothing. It was one of those. So, uh, you know, I thought maybe you could help me out here. Listen, oh, I know. Try the Marina House Spa. Helen told me that she goes there. Go on down there and ask her for this Laura's number yourself. Yeah, yeah good. All right, thanks, buddy. Tommy's out lifeguarding today. Oh. I, I was just with him. Okay. Anyway, he, he told me that I, I could probably find you here. And uh, Well, now that you tracked me down, piano man, what can I do for you? Well, you could give me Laura's number. If she didn't give you her phone number, she probably had her own reasons, you know? Okay. Sorry. Right. I'll give you my number, and you give it to her, okay? Okay. okay but I can't make any promises that she'll call you. Just promise me you'll give her the number, okay? Okay, I'll do that. Do you have a pencil and paper? Now, Donna, where would I keep that stuff? In this outfit? Come on. They probably have something to the desk. Come on. You'll never guess who I just ran into. Who? Your piano man from last night. So that's what happened to you, huh? You didn't tell him I was here, did you? No, but he asked for your phone number. Did you give it to him? No, but I got his right here. And I think he definitely wants to see you again, too. Hello? Oh, hi, Larry. No, nothing's wrong. I was just expecting another phone call. Oh, no, thanks. I can't tonight. I gotta work. Why don't you come out by the bar and buy your drink? Yeah, I'll buy. Okay, good. See you there. Bye-bye. appreciate the same type of music that I do. Scoot over. Play on. So 
or three years ago, after my father died, I married Charles. He was good to my family and kind to me. So has it changed now? It was good the first year. But, I don't know, his business got to be too important and he doesn't have time for me anymore. For us. I've become a possession. I know he has other women. So why don't you just leave him? I can't leave. I love him. Do you? Do you really love him? What are you scared of? I think you better go, okay? Charles should be home soon. No, but uh, I, w I want to see you again. I don't know about all this, Eric. I, I just can't deal with all of it. Well, there's nothing to deal with, really. Uh, we just... We just see each other, that's all. Look, I just think you better go, okay? Please. Go around through that way. I... I don't want you to come back to the house. Well, I do want to see you again. I'll call you. For Christ's sake, Laura, would you please stop it? I'm trying to get some work done. I need to talk to him, Charles. Do you think you could stop with me for a minute? I'm busy. We'll talk later. Maybe tomorrow. That, <clears throat> on the recommendation of yours truly, Eric Lewis is invited to audition for the Board of Governors for the Conservatory of Music on April 27th at 11 a.m. in the morning in the Conservatory Auditorium before a panel of distinguished judges. How about that, Archot? It's perfect, uh, too. The 27th. Uh, uh, that's only 10 days away. So? I'm not ready. You're a good pianist, old friend. A very good pianist. But what do you do with it? Huh? What do you do with it? All night long, you go to some sleazy piano bar with a bunch of drunks and play there. And then hang out on the beach all day. I come here and practice. Sure you do, but you don't take it seriously. It's all a whim, a fad, something just to pass your time with. Eric, look. Use your talent. Go to that audition. This is your chance to make something of your life. these past few evenings, my dear? What are you talking about? You know perfectly well what I'm talking about. Did you have fun with your piano player tonight? Look, Charles, I, I'm really tired. Can we talk about this tomorrow? What do you like mean, that? who the hell am I? I've been working my tail off trying to get the band going. I even got us an audition with the new rock club. 
You wear that outfit and sing in my club, I'll let your boyfriend play piano. Then it's a deal? Who told you to do that? You did! We have plans, Eric! Wait a second. Wait a second. You had plans. I didn't have any plans. I'm tired of this whole thing, Monica. I'm just sick and tired. It's all a downhill slide to me. The, the music, rock and roll, the band. Uh, I'm tired of coasting through life. I'm sorry. But it's over for me. It's Yeah, I, I know it's late, Paul, I know, but I had to talk to him. Listen, do you still have that invitation to the conservatory? Yeah, I'm going. Great. I'll be right over. Good. Charles what, my dear? Laura, I'm leaving town. I want you to come with me. Don't do this to me, please. You know I can't come with you. Yes, you can come with me if you want to. I believe my wife said she doesn't wish to be with you. This is none of your business. Now, you just stay out of it. I love you, and I think you love me. Please come with me. Oh, Eric. Look at this man. This man couldn't possibly love you. I think we've had enough of this. Please come with me. I'm going to wait five minutes, Laura. Please come with me. Come lay here beside 
inside me So what did you think? What did you think? Herschel Savage, two weeks in a row, both weeks, he's an unattentive husband. This week, he's more of a chump. He needs the afro from last week to, to have dominance. He's trying to steal his wife. And he comes out, he's like, this is none of your business. This is none of your business. Now you just stay out of it. Then he, then he disses him right to his face. Look at this man. <laughs> This man couldn't possibly love you. He's like, look at me, I'm Paul Thomas. You want to go with this joker? I think we've got enough of this. Did he say he's done with me or Paul? I think Herschel Savage is done with me. A lot of exposition got cut out of this movie because there's a man and a woman doing the exposition when they're not wearing their shirts. Who talks about life stuff with no shirts on? Everyone is the answer to that. Man, I'm being so annoying today. I apologize. I should maybe say an apology right now and put it in the beginning. Sorry that I'm a little annoying today. That happens with uh, Vinegar Syndrome and Richard Mailer combined. Two of my favorite things. It amps up the dumbness. Uh, so in that exposition, they were talking about, you know, he loves the classic composers. She's not heard Chopin's name. She's only read it. And so she's calling him Chopin, which Paul Thomas thinks is hilarious. But we can't show you that scene. Go seek it out. Go to Vinegar Syndrome and get this or go to Twitter and win one for free. Twitter giveaway. So Chopin and Chopin. Same guy, different pronunciation. Uh, what was I saying that for? Oh, a lot of exposition got cut out. Hopefully you can still follow it. I was getting a little confused to being like, which one's the girlfriend? Which one's the hopeful, the old girlfriend, the hopeful girlfriend? Eric and Monica are together. Eric's homie, Tommy, they go and hang out at the bar. Actually, you know, Eric's working there because he's a pianist. They run into Laura and Helen. Everything's done, so after that. Original song, Piano Man, is by Joyce Lucas and Shelton John. We open with it, we close with it. I believe it's in the middle as well. It's the only song that gets Billy. And there's a lot of songs. But he's really messing with Richard, and Richard's like, leave it in. The peanut stays in the picture. This is the 13th movie on squeaky clean adult films that Richard Mailer has made. Directed 12 of them, wrote one of them. 13 Richard Mailer projects. My favorites are Richard Mailer, Henri Pichard, Alex Dorenzi. That is my personal triangle. I'm sure you guys all have your own triangles. You probably have one of those three in your top favorites because they're clearly the best. Paige made a playlist. I don't think I've ever, can I link to pages or can I only link to barefoot stuff? By the time you're watching this, I'll have the answer. So possibly above my head, there'll be a list, a link to all of the Richard Mailers. And what else? Is this it? Give me my notes. Weird humor underlined four times. 
there's there's some weird humor in this. Jacqueline Lorenus is so awesome in this. I kind of don't like her because she's the other woman. But she does get top billing. She's so much of the other woman that she gets top billing. Which I guess that makes sense. His actual girlfriend, Monica, Desiree Lane. I mean, you don't just get top billing because of ethics. Okay, we are doing a Richard Maller Vinegar Syndrome Northland Casting Barefoot Independent giveaway on Twitter. We're going to do it on the next one. Not the next one, meaning like next Sunday, but on the next Richard Maller. Can I show this? Have you ever seen Invisible Maniac? I brought this in for my... I brought in... I could have pulled up a picture of Vinegar Syndrome on my phone. But I brought this in to show them this as a flex. As a flex. I even brought in the Doris Wishman box set. I'm like, oh, there's no uh, there's no Vinegar I bought this from Vinegar Syndrome, but there's no Vinegar Syndrome logo on it. Oh, but look at... There's something weird video. You guys know... We got, we've already done that tattoo. The people there, just like life, half the people in the tattoo shop seriously think that, oh my God, that filmmaker's coming in? They love me. I'm not saying this is a brag because you gotta hear the flip side of the coin. A couple of the guys there are like, God damn it, that guy's coming in. <laughs> and it's, it's uh, pretty obvious that I split, I split their studio right down the middle. Tell that to my psychiatrist. Tell that to the 50-50 of everything inside of me. Picarama, Picarama. Uh, I could probably show these. They're kind of naked. They're kind of naked, so I'm not going to. Both of these. You guys are getting spoiled by all of us. Both of these films, the double, the Picarama, they're both a 2K scan from the original camera negative, and they both have the trailers on them. You're welcome in advance. You're going to go to our Twitter, which I hate Twitter, and I start, all I do is pick fights, and I'm kind of inappropriate. Maybe I should go delete a bunch of crap if I'm going to send people there. Anyways, we'll talk about it when Physical Romance comes out. I'll see you next Sunday. I think I'm going to try to squeak in a midweek drop. You know, us releasing one of the pulled ones from the vault. So you might see me before Sunday, but you'll see me every Sunday with a brand new one. I think you get the picture.